Paris Olympics, here I come. I'm Zane Navratil, and I'm a professional pickleball player. Well, one, thank you for shepherding me into my first pickleball experience. What was your first one? How did you get into the sport originally? I had heard of pickleball, and this is probably 2013. I'd heard of it. My dad started playing, and I thought it was a sport for old people. And he brought me to the Cesar Chavez Center in Racine, Wisconsin. And I get there, and it was, in fact, all old people. But these old people kicked my butt because I tried to play like tennis instead of playing it like pickleball. And so I got humbled really, really quickly. Kind of fell in love with the intricacies of, of pickleball, and I've been playing ever since. So we're gonna start out by just tapping this ball right to one another. Try to get it to bounce in front of me, perfect. Take me through the history of pickleball, specifically in North America. How long and how did it become something that could be professional with leagues that are thriving? Pickleball has been around since, I think, the 60s, but it really just started taking off in probably the early 2010s, and it's been growing very, very consistently since then. Uh, in 2019, the two pro tours were announced, APP and PPA. In 2021, Major League Pickleball entered the fold, and they've really just been competing to create the best professional pickleball product for a couple of years. When you talk about competition, other high-level athletes have been competing to invest in pickleball. Every time I'm on IG, I see someone else putting money and resource and energy into the sport. Why do you think that is? I know that Tom Brady is a, is a team owner in, in one of the Major League Pickleball teams. Kevin Durant is. I think that the reason these celebrities are investing is A, it's a great business opportunity, and B, they enjoy playing themselves. We are seeing also former tennis players becoming you know, pickleball players. Do you think that trend is gonna continue also? Definitely, I mean, tennis is, is unbelievably competitive and pickleball is still very new, where if you dedicate yourself to playing pickleball and you've come from a high level athletic background, you can get very good at this sport very quickly. And so I think you're gonna keep seeing more and more tennis players try and convert over to pickleball. And you are, you're seeing it, you see, Americans like Jack Sock and Donald Young and Sam Querrey, and then you see Canadians like Jeannie Bouchard. It's huge for the sport. From what I understand, there are more pickleball courts in Europe than there are soccer fields right now. Why have we seen the explosion, do you think, not just in North America, but internationally? Well, it's so low barrier to entry in terms of you can get good at it very quickly, and also it's low barrier to entry in that you can purchase a set, it won't be a great set, but uh, you can purchase a set of pickleball paddles and balls and be out there playing for $20, $20 maybe 30 Canadian. Sorry, I don't know the conversion. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> ah, you got good at it very quickly, so much so, maybe for some people too good, that you've had serves banned. How, that's serves multiple. Yeah. First of all, how is that a thing? How is that possible? And when you get that feedback, that like, oh, I gotta go to another one now because this has been banned. What's that like? Serve and the and the boom to finish. Serve goes over to Zayn Navratil. What happened there? It was the nasty spin. Huge Ace. spin sub. I guess it's uh well obviously it's it's frustrating to a certain extent, but it's also I guess kind of cool to be able to say that like I did something brand new in this sport and it was it did such a it was so advantageous that they decided to create rules against it so I'm annoyed and humbled at the same time I think that's a humble way of saying that they banned it when you started winning with it but I, I, it's, yeah that's accurate <laughs> so I'm seeing and hearing so much about pickleball for others like me who want to start to consume it where can we watch you play yeah, so the next season of Major League Pickleball is uh, is broadcast here in Canada on Game Plus. Um, there are events in September, November, and December. There's also plenty of content available on YouTube as well. Thank Thanks you for you teaching me a new sport and breaking my soul. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs>